how to use user stories and epics for backlog organization and prioritization. Well, let's clear up what we mean by user story and an epic. For me, I'm gonna go back to when I started as a developer using these things as an XPR. A user story is just stuff to get done. Okay? It's the story of the user and your product. No more, no less. And an epic is a big story. That's it. Okay? It's not about user stories being part of an epic or anything else that you might hear. It, you can do that as long as everybody in your team and your organization agrees. Great, but personally, you're overcomplicating it. User story is just a thing that you need to get done. An epic is a big thing, probably doesn't fit in your iteration or your sprint. So you probably want to break it down into lots of little things. I think of it as boulders. Uh, you start with a big thing and you start hitting it with a hammer and small bits fall off. Right? You can't stick them back together and end up with a boulder. That's not how it works. You've got lots of little bits now. Uh, and you can keep hitting the smaller bits and make even smaller bits, but they don't combine back together to end up as the stones that they turned into from the boulder. Um, and it simplifies your life because you just have a list of stuff, not things inside things. So for me, how do you use user stories and epics to organize your backlog? Well, they're a list of stuff. Put the stuff that matters most towards the top and the stuff that matters the least towards the bottom, if you even keep it. Prioritization also becomes simple because you're not trying to compare apples and oranges. It's apples and apples. Right? Is this thing worth more to us than that thing? And you're probably going to do the thing that is worth more and easier to do, the smaller thing. Probably call it a user story over the epic. But at times you're going to look at it and say, well, actually, that big thing's worth us a huge amount. And now in refinement, when you're talking about what's coming up, you're going to take that big thing and break it into lots of small things. And some of those newer small things are going to go towards the top of the list. This isn't difficult. I really want to come up with some enlightening way to talk about it. But what I find is people make their lives hard and I've never understood why. Okay? You've got a list of things. Order it based on what needs to be done first. What makes most sense to do first? Look at it, compare the relative values. Is this worth more than that? Does doing this before that make our lives easier? Does it allow us to deliver the most important things sooner? If so, do that first. People keep coming at me and saying, yeah, but user stories have to roll back together to be an epic. No, they don't. That's what you did. That's what you chose. And okay, if you chose it, don't complain at me that it's harder than my simple way. Okay. So when you're using user stories and epics, find the simplest way you can to work with them. As I said, for me, an epic is just a big user story. Other than that, there's no real difference. And it simplifies my life. It means that I can order backlogs, I can organize backlogs simply, easily. And I don't know what more people want from me than an easier way of doing the job.